Hey, hey, hey fans, welcome back. Let's dive headfirst in today's news. Prince Harry's latest media moves have yet again left the royals reeling and led experts to question if he'll ever cease attacking his heartbroken family. Just as the dust had finally settled on the bombshell interview Harry and his wife gave to Oprah, the Duke of Sussex doubled down during an appearance on the Armchair Expert podcast with actor Dax Shepard. Harry spoke about the pain and suffering he experienced during his childhood and referenced a cycle of poor parenting within the royal family, one that he's determined to break with his own children. The shock interview was closely followed up by the first look at Harry's Apple TV Plus series, The Me You Can't See, co-produced with Oprah Winfrey. In a surprise move, the trailer for the mental health themed series featured footage of Harry at his mother, Princess Diana's funeral. Royal author Phil Dampier shares that Harry's latest moves are evidence he's hell-bent on plowing on with his agenda, even if it further damages his relationship with the Queen, Charles and William. He is making a living by moaning about his mental health and chucking members of his family under a bus one at a time when they are reeling from the death of Prince Philip. Prince William and Duchess Kate, along with the rest of the royal family, are reportedly devastated and dejected over both Harry's podcast interview and his Apple TV Plus series. The overall sentiment has changed from anger to sadness, as it sinks in that Harry has betrayed them all over again. William and Harry have always had a pact that no matter what happens, their memories of their mother are not for sale, explains our royal insider. So, to have Harry wheeling out Diana for a Hollywood docuseries is so bang out of order, William can hardly believe it. He thought that even with their differences in the past few years, their mom would remain sacred. In particularly upsetting, given that many believe steps towards healing had been made when Harry reunited with his family at Prince Philip's funeral last month. As pictures emerge of Harry speaking privately with his older brother, there appeared to be a glimmer of hope that the family feud might be over. However, it now appears Harry was merely in ceasefire mode out of respect for the Queen, and since returning home he has resumed his course of betrayal. Any attempt to heal the rift at Prince Philip's funeral now looks futile. Well, expert Angela Levin says that Charles was heartbroken by Harry's latest claims regarding his parenting. But Harry's continuous rolling attacks against the royal family have not only saddened them, but left them at a loss on how to handle it. Concerns about their conversations being leaked to the media have reportedly made the royals gun-shy, especially after William and Charles reached out to Harry following the Oprah interview, only for the conversations to be leaked to the US media. There's also concern that any conversation may serve as a trigger for future trades from Prince Harry. While the family are upset about Harry's hurtful claims, they are also believed to be privately concerned about his long-term mental welfare if he has cut him off from them. They love Harry and don't want to slam any doors. But after the latest events, Levin has grave doubts about whether their relationship with Harry will ever be repairable. Harry has crushed boundaries that he may regret in the future. Further to this, Dampier notes that the fact Harry has turned his mental health issues into a money-making exercise means he might not stop speaking ill of the royal family anytime soon. My concern for him is... When he has exhausted himself take, talking about mental health issues and his family, what is he going to do then? Oh, by then he's going to be so rich he can retire. Come on, man. What do you guys think of that article? Interesting stuff. Is Harry digging his own grave with his family? Hmm. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, everyone. Goodbye for now.